Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and today we're going to do something a little bit smaller. I'm going to do a little work on my old walk behind. Um, I've had this for a long time. I can't even I can't even come up with how long I've had this thing. Uh, a lot longer than I've had my rider. It needs a couple new belts and it needs a new drive disc. So we're going to put these on and Let's see how long it takes. Let me tip the camera down and we'll start. Okay, the first thing we want to do is get us a screwdriver here. And we're going to snap this little clip off. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little clip right here that holds this rod on. We're going to snap this up. That allows this rod to come out. And if you lift it up, It'll slide right out of the bracket. Then, let's see. I'm supposed to have here, there, some, bite, some uh, needle nose. We're going to pull this spring off of here. This is your clutch spring that gives you your traction. We're going to slide this right off. We'll put the clutch disc on in a second. Now this looks pretty bad, but that's normal. There's a floating self-aligning bearing on this side and that's supposed to float like that. Now to get the belt off, we might as well take this thing right off of here. We need a 9 16th socket and a half inch wrench. These are all self-locking nuts, so they don't come off very good. Now something I want to do while I got this off, is clean this a little bit. So it shifts a little better. What I do is I've got a piece of steel with some sandpaper on it and I'm just going to do each flat and clean some of that rust off of there. Now being in the open the way these are with no boot on them you don't really know if you should grease it or not because if you put grease or oil on this all the dirt's going to stick to it. Maybe some graphite dry slide might be the thing to use on this. Then we just put that little pulley back on. Now to get the belt off the engine I've already got the blade off it. We want to tip this up Oh, sure. Stick that under the chair. And there's a nut down here that holds this drive disc on. We're going to take that off. And we can set this back down. This will lift right up out of here. If I pull the spring off on this side. When I go to put this back on, I'll spin it around and show you where that spring hooks. That's all there is to it. Pop this belt off. We'll take the chute off, get that out of the way. Hopefully I got the right belt. Oh, looks pretty good. I'll stick that back in there. Look 
broken on the bottom of the engine. Now to put this back together, <clears throat> you've got a, a bushing that goes into the bearing in the bottom of this drive disc. Then your idler has to fit on and there's a spot on this bushing that that has to fit on. It keeps it aligned properly. Then on top of that goes a washer. Then it goes through the bracket in the deck. Tricky part is trying to get this all together without this falling out of place on you. And trying to get the belt around here. Sometimes this can be a handful. the nut back on. Make sure the belt's where it's supposed to be. There's that one. <clears throat> I think I must snug that up a little bit so Now to get this one off, on this side of the differential, let's see if I can move this camera a little better, there's two nuts. They're half inch, you want to break them loose and back them off a bit. Get a small ratchet and a socket, maybe. don't have to take these all the way off. We just got to get enough room between the differential and this bracket. To sneak the belt out of there. And once you get that loosened up and moved over, it should come right out. With a little help, I suppose. And you gotta sneak it out of here. The last time I did this was Oh, 20 years ago or better. So once you put these on here, they're going to last a while. You don't have to worry about your belts wearing out that often. That's that. <clears throat> now we want to tighten these two nuts back up. That part's done. We got both belts on already. Now to get the drive disc on. 
Let me move the camera over here. Okay, <clears throat> now I've got a socket and a nut driver handle that my ratchet snaps into so I can break these loose. Then I can just use this thing as a nut driver. Take the plate off, pop out the old clutch. I'm going to slide the new one on. This thing will be good for another 20 years. You want to check these bearings when you have this thing tore apart. Make sure they're in good shape. I don't think these have to be all that tight. I'm just going to tighten them up with a nut driver. As hard as that went on there, I just, there's no way it's going to slip. Let's put her back on the machine. Okay, we got our hex shaft put back together. We'll slide that in the bearing. Put the washer and the nut back on, wherever it went. Here we go. Use this one. You know what? This is where editing comes in handy. Before we slide that in there, let's slide through the belt. Underneath that little bracket for some reason. Well, I guess it'd help if we did put the belt on the pulley before we slid it in there. Now let's try this again, shall we? Edit that right out, you'll never know we did that mistake. Well, I guess that's why you guys watch these videos, so you don't make mistakes. Okay, we got that tightened back up. Now we'll slide the clutch disc assembly back on. And we'll Snap the spring back up. Now to hook this spring up for the idler, they have a large hole right here and a small hole next to it. Stick your needle nose in that large hole and grab the spring. 
you're going to pull it out the big hole, put the end of the spring in the little hole. That tightens that up. Now all we got left to do, let's go back over here. Let's put our linkage back on. Now this is kind of a clever little clip that they use. When you put your linkage through your shift rod, you go through this clip, then you spin it around and it snaps on itself and locks it in. It can't come out. So we want to put it in here first, hinge it down, put the clip over the hole, put your linkage through, and it snaps down on there. That's it. Well, that's it. <clears throat> this thing's good for another 200,000 miles. Didn't take much to put them on. What do we got? 16 minutes. Um, if I wasn't filming and moving cameras, you could probably had this done in 10 to 12 minutes. It's pretty simple. A couple of tricks on these springs. Just got to have yourself a pair of needle nose. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the description box below and I'll try to get back with you. Um, don't forget to subscribe and give these videos a thumbs up if you like them. And I guess until next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon.